Gold Pony here today in the all new 2018 Ford Expedition courtesy of Bob Ruth Ford in Dillsburg, PA. And today, per your request, I will be completely going over this one. So as always, you guys, let's start with pricing. And so for 2018, there will be several different trim levels available for the Ford Expedition, including the XLT that will start at $51,695. Then you have the XLT Max for $54,385. Then the Limited for $62,585, the Limited Max, which is the one I am in today. That one is going to start at $65,270, then the Platinum for $72,710, and lastly, the Platinum Max for $75,400. And of course, if you wanted to add all-wheel drive to any of those trim levels, simply add $3,130 to any of those prices. And in case you were curious, the Max, that is going to be your extended wheelbase version of the Expedition. So for comparison's sake, the regular Expedition is going to come in at a length of 122.5 inches and the Expedition Max comes in at 131.5 inches so definitely more space on that one but then make your way to the power plant it is going to be the same regardless of trim level on this one powering the beast is going to be a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine putting out 375 horsepower at 5,000 rpm and 470 pound-feet of torque available at around 2200 rpm and I did want to also mention when it comes to the platinum trim although it is still powered by that same power plant the numbers on the platinum trim come in at 400 horsepower, 480 pound-feet of torque. And then like I was previously referencing, power is going to be sent to either the rear wheels or all wheels through the four-wheel drive system. And power is going to be sent to the ground through a 10-speed automatic with select shift. And when it comes to MPG numbers, you're going to get 17 city, 23 highway for the Expedition, 16 city, 21 highway for the Expedition Max. And with any of those trim levels, you will also get an auto start stop system with the capless fuel filler, so you don't have any dangling gas caps on this one. And another little interesting tidbit is if if you do go with the 375 horsepower version, this one does take regular unleaded fuel. And if you go with the platinum trim with the 400 horsepower, that one is going to require premium fuel. But so that when it comes to the driving modes, the drive mode button on this one is actually located just behind the, I guess what you could call a shifter. I should touch on that one as well. To put this one in gear, there actually is a circular dial, which you just turn to the left and to the right. If you press that center M button, that's going to give you manual mode where you can manually shift through the gears if you like. But anyways, the drive modes you have to choose from is going to be eco, normal, grass or gravel and snow mode. There's also a sand mode. There's a mud mode, a tow and haul mode, and a sport mode as well. And when you put it in sport mode, it automatically shifts it into the four wheel drive system for you as well, giving you a little better traction for the acceleration, of course. And so since I mentioned it, let's hit the gas here with it in sport mode. I test out the acceleration on this one. Actually, you guys, really quite nice for as large of an SUV as this is. Definitely no issues emerging onto the highway or anything like that. Very impressed with this acceleration. But then, of course, to go along with that, braking is equally important. And so the 2018 Expedition will get power four-wheel disc brakes with brake assist and electronic brake force distribution. And just to test it out here, let's hit the brakes here. Very nice, actually, especially for it being pouring down rain right now. This one definitely came to a quick stop. But so then touching on handling and ride quality, up front there are independent short and long arm coilover shocks with the stabilizer bar. In the back, an eye-link rear suspension with the stabilizer bar again. There are also gas-filled shock absorbers. And if you go with the Platinum trim, you will get continuously controlled damping. And that feature is going to be optional on the Limited that I have today. And that is going to be that adaptive suspension, continuously adjusting based on your driving style and the road conditions, really to give you the best of both worlds. So not only will you get a smoother ride with that one, but you will also get a firmer suspension if you're going around the turns a little faster. And speaking of the suspension, I actually just went over some railroad tracks not too long ago back there. So one definitely soaked them up better than most vehicles that I have hit those tracks with. So the Expedition definitely has a very nice ride to it. You should have no issues with long road trips in this one. And the steering feel is definitely quite nice as well. And the Expedition does have a new smoother steering wheel for this year, as opposed to the more texturized one that it had last year. And when it comes to road noise, again, no issues there. I actually have a panoramic moonroof up here today. A lot of times they will cause a little extra noise, but this one is definitely not having that issue. Again, working very nice for this one. And when it comes to visibility, actually, I gotta admit, for 
as large of an SUV as this one is. Of course, with any SUV, if you put up that third row, the headrests are gonna hinder the visibility slightly, but those rear two quarters back there definitely are not as bulky as some other ones. So when it comes to larger three row SUVs, this one is definitely quite nice for visibility. But so then enough with the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's check out the exterior of the completely redesigned 2018 Ford Expedition. And so to start up front for 2018, there is that bright chrome grill with the silver lining. To the sides are halogen projector beam headlamps with LED daytime running lights. And if you jump up to the platinum trim, you will get LED headlights with fog lights as well just below. And if you wanted that on one of the limited trim levels, that is a $740 option if you were interested. Also just below, there are front tow hooks if you go with one of the four wheel drive versions there. And making our way to the side, there is rear privacy glass for all trim levels as well as roof rack side rails up top there. And you will get power deployable running boards if you go with the limited trim and up, which is pretty cool actually, you guys. That's the one I have today. So they actually tuck under the vehicle and when you go to open up the door, they automatically deploy for you. So that is definitely pretty convenient there. And then when it comes to the wheel setup, you do get 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels that come standard and there are 22 inch aluminum alloys that are optional if you wanted that. And make our way to the back, there is a rear spoiler back there with the integrated brake light just below that a rear window wiper as well led tail lamps come standard for all trim levels back there and just below it all a single exhaust outlet so as always you guys here is that exhaust clip Now, since we are around back, at first I want to mention to open that rear hatch. There actually is a button on the key fob for it, so if you like, simply press that. And if you wanted that hands-free lift gate, that is going to come standard on the limited trim and up, and it is going to be optional actually on the XLT there. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 20.9 cubic feet for the regular Expedition. 36 cubic feet for the Expedition Max. And that is what you are looking at right now. And if you fold it down that third row, behind the second row, you're gonna get 63.6 .6 cubic feet for the Expedition, 79.6 .6 cubic feet for the Max. And with all rows folded, that's gonna come in at 104.6 .6 cubic feet. And for the Max, 121.5 cubic feet back there. And since we're back here, I also did wanna mention there is a rear cargo light that I found, as well as a cargo management system just underneath the floor of the trunk there. So that is there for you as well. And then make your way to that rear leg room it is going to be the same actually regardless of whether you go with the standard expedition or the max third row leg room is coming in at 36.1 inches which i gotta say is one of the most out there for a third row leg room very impressed there for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had second row leg room comes in at 41.5 inches again a ton of space six feet tall this is how much space i had again and you do have the option of either bench seating or captain's chairs in that second row there. So you can either get the three seating positions or the two. And another really nice feature, since it is 2018 now, you do get USB charging ports, not only for the first and second row, but for the third row passengers as well. So everyone's able to charge up their smartphones and devices and be perfectly happy there. And if you do have kids, there is a dual headrest rear entertainment system available that is gonna add an additional $2,000. And then make your way to the front seats. A standard setup for the XLT is gonna come with cloth seating and a six-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar. Limited trim and up is gonna add a perforated leather. These front seats are gonna be heated and ventilated. Then you will also get heated second row seats. And when it comes to the front seats, you do get 10-way power adjustable driver and passenger seats up there. So after a long day of work, you got the massage waiting for you in your vehicle. That's pretty cool. But then looking forward, there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It will come leather wrapped for the limited trim and up. And again, it's a smoother leather this year. Also heated as well for the super cold days in Pennsylvania you like today and when it comes to the startup there is a push button start for all trim levels and a remote start if you go with the limited trim and up it is going to be optional on the xlt but that is going to be that two times circular button in the middle of the key fob there simply press that twice and you got your remote start warming the expedition up for you before you actually get inside so you don't freeze that that's definitely nice there looking forward at the gauge setup there is a tachometer on the left speedometer on your right there is a pretty large digital display front and center actually which of course you can completely customize by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the left side and that is going to actually 
give you things like your off-road status so i thought that was pretty cool as well as your average fuel economy as expected how long you've been driving for how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's your trip a and trip b as expected you can check out your tire pressure information up there you can set a digital speedometer as well if you wanted to you can also check out your towing status also your power distribution between the front and rear wheels and you can adjust and completely turn off your safety settings if you wanted to as well but set that make your way to overall interior quality first thing i noticed when i hopped in this one because it was relatively dark this morning you do get ambient lighting if you go with a limited trim and up so that's definitely nice panoramic moonroof is going to be optional on the limited although i do have it today and that is going to be standard on the platinum trim level there all trim levels though are going to give you an overhead sunglass holder along with a little mirror so you can spy on the rear passengers as well which is actually going to be separate from the overhead sunglass holder so that's a different setup for this year but that's there for you as well also universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors is standard on all trim levels also auto dimming rear view mirror and if you go with the limited trim and up you will get wood green accents as i am looking at on the doors right now but then when it comes to the tech xlt trim level is going to give you the sync system sync 3 system is going to come with a limited trim and up either system is going to give you bluetooth and audio streaming the sync 3 is going to give you android auto and apple carplay meaning if you have your smartphone simply hook it up to the vehicle you will get a free navigation system through that smartphone as well as the ability to like and dislike your pandora songs if you wanted to and there's a few other apps as well also with that sync 3 you have climate control settings you can play around with up there and if you go with the platinum you have a factory navigation system that comes standard and it is optional on the limited that i have today here and you can of course play around with your radio settings up there and by the way when it comes to the sound system xlt is going to give you a nine speaker sound system if you go with the limited or the platinum you will get a 12 speaker bang and olsen premium audio system so guys know what's coming next let's turn on the radio and test out the clarity of this one probably thinking the camera was bouncing slightly on that one because good bit of bass definitely a very loud sound system which it needs to be for a vehicle of this size so the bang and olsen sound system is definitely where it's at in the expedition i can't vouch for the other one i'm sure it's fine but the bno sound system is definitely nice on this one and last thing when it comes to the tech is when you do put this one in reverse there is a reverse camera for all trim levels letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead me into safety and so to start there are front side and side curtain airbags in the back there is latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also back there is going to be rear child door locks you will get a tire pressure monitoring system for all trim levels the limited trim level and up though is going to add a reverse sensing system forward sensing system blind spot information system with cross traffic alert with trailer tow monitoring as well by the way since i mentioned it there is a trailer tow pack Package. that one is going to add one thousand five hundred and seventy dollars but if you were interested in the towing numbers that is going to give you up to ninety three hundred pounds in the standard expedition and up to nine thousand pounds on the expedition max but so then if you were going with the platinum trim level that is going to add even more safety features including active park assist so the expedition actually parallel parks for you also automatic high beams adaptive cruise control with stop and go lane keep assist lane keep alert and a pre-collision assist system with pedestrian detection and so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay out.